Hello everyone, Thanos here. Uh, I'm going to talk about um, the War for Cybertron game, which I just got, just got done doing. And I'm going to also, also talk about the other two Transformer games that I've played, that have came out. Um, one of them being the first Transformer movie game, and then the other one is going to be the Revenge of the Fallen, and then War for Cybertron. So, I'm going to start off with the uh, first Transformer game and give my opinion about it, which I like. Um, the game was okay. You know, it was a lot of fun. Um, you had your choice of good or bad. You know, all about Decepticon. Um, and when you first start off in the game, you, uh, you don't get to choose your own character you don't get to choose a character you get to play with. Basically you start off as Bumblebee in the Autobot side and Blackout in the Decepticon side. Which, in my opinion, it, I don't really don't care for, but at the same time I kind of understand that. But, um, you know, hey, it, uh, it somewhat works for me. Um, and then you get to do little side quests. You get to roam around it and wherever you want to go, which is a plus for me because I like doing that, I like games that do that um, and then another big plus is you can go back and replay the levels which is another good plus um, let's see another one is you know depending on what side you choose you know the ending will be different um, you get to go around looking for little cubes and whatnot which just is a pain to find um, so that's kind of a minus but it's also pretty cool and then another cool thing is like there's a level inside of a level so which is kind of like a little side quests or side missions or multiple missions in there or whatnot so which is which is a nice nice touch Revenge of the Fallen um, much better than the first um, you could choose between five different Transformers and Autobot or Decepticons and um, you also get to level up your weaponry your cooling systems and whatnot and your health so which is another plus for me I like the whole level up system thing in most games that I like and of course you get to you have different achievements like they do in the last one but you also have um, and different achievements in the game as well as long as with the Xbox with this version I have and um, you also get to uh, go back and replay the levels like in the last one what's different about Revenge of the Fallen is you get to also depends on how good and how quick you are you get medals which is cool you know, I like the whole metal thing. Um, and then, you know, like before, depending on what side you choose to beat the game with, you get to see different endings. <coughs> War for Cybertron. Much better than the other two. Um, you get to choose three instead of five, which is kind of a, a downfall for me, minus but you know at the same time you know you have ten levels within a chapter and that is really cool so in the same in a sense you are choosing a character you know different characters but they're in for different chapters or different uh, sections of the level uh, it basically takes place before um, you know the Autobots went to Earth and everything um, it's a lot of fun. Gameplay is amazing. You get to choose different weaponry. And you also have a choice of melee as well as a gun. Like in the last two games. Um, and let's see, what else is there? You get to choose Autobot Decepticon. Like in the last two, which is, a, which is fun for me. Uh, let's see, what else? The boss fights are really, really amazing. 
after you find a boss fight. Um, I just got them playing it to, actually, and um, I'm at on the Autobot side. I'm at Tripticon, which is the last last boss to fight, and on the the Decepticons, I'm at Omega Supreme, and I just wiped out about who knows how many times with Omega Supreme, and Tripticon wipes you out really quick. So I'm having a little bit of difficulty on that part of the level, but at the same time, it's it's really, really fun, and in fact, it's so fun that once I beat the game, I'm going to go back and replay it, because that's what I like to do, because for me, that is a big deal for me. You can call me weird or whatnot, but I like to do that. Basically, I like to go back and get the achievements that I missed. So, um... So yeah, that's just my little my little talk, my little spiel I have about the three games that I own, three Transformer games. I know there's more out there, um, like the Armada for the PS2, which I haven't played, but um, someone said it's it's kind of fun, so I might check that out. Um, I might not, I don't know. Um, let's see. And speaking of War for Cybertron. I uh, was at my local Toys R Us, and I was actually happy to, happy to find, you know, the new Transformer Wave that came out, which is interesting because at, on BigBetToyStore.com it said it wouldn't come out until August, which is interesting, and yet here they are in, I don't know, close to the middle of July, or the beginning of July, you know, it's, it's out, so. Um, just kind of show off what I got here. Um, got you know, the War for Cybertron Optimus, which is really cool. I'm doing a review on on these guys, so expect to see them. Um, I think by far on transformation, Optimus is a lot of fun. The transform. Got uh, War for Cybertron Bumblebee, which is. I do like this little mold of him, and it, it kind of has the uh, classic look. So yeah, I just expect, like I said, expect reviews on these guys. Um, just a lot of fun. Um, out of out of the two, I have to say that it's a tie or a toss up on which one is my favorite Transformer right now between these two, because I honestly don't know. And then. Like some other have reviewed before, we have the leader star screen, which I gotta say is probably really, really cool. So just kind of will show you, I guess a haul, if you will, on what I picked up at Toys R Us uh, a couple days ago. So um, yeah, so uh, maybe these are. So I expect to see reviews on these guys, and this is Thanos here, saying thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.